it reminds me of when you told me about you can't catch up to him in that did you know gaming episode where they uh, I can't remember who explained it I think it was either I think it was John Chan or Eagle Raptor or PBG gamer um PBG I mean PBG yeah. gamer <laughs> peanut butter gamer gamer um PBG yeah. I can't remember which one of them commentated on it but they said something about you know that guy in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, um, when you give him the bunny mask, he runs super fast? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean the postman? Yeah, yeah he's even from, if um, you he's speed hacks, you still can't catch up yeah, to him. Yeah, he's the guy in Sunshine. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I also heard about that as well. Yeah, he's, um, what? Pianta, Mr. Pianta. Or the yep. really fast guy. Who would have known? Yeah, you were saying. <laughs> Um, pretty much that. It reminded me of that. It's like really crazy how it, it's ingenious because if you think about it, maybe Nintendo knew that somewhere down the future somebody was going to be able to hack their game. Yeah. I so did. they did it both times. They did it with the postman. Uh, it must have not been a. It must have been a coincidence, and they must have known that someday down in the future they were going to be able to hack it because why would why else would they make that reference with the mask uh on the pianta yeah guy and in the game itself like he runs faster even if he use speed packs like no matter what you can't beat him in a race yeah like he's always a millisecond faster than you it's like so crazy that they thought of that i wonder if in, in the future they'll make another reference like that Possibly. because that'd be really cool it's, it's why not? Really, and what like Nintendo does? It's why I'm really excited for the Wii U. Yeah. The, like zom the Zombie U trailer is pretty much like this. That's it looks so good. That's what the Wii U can do. But I know it for a fact. It's not even like a fifth of what it can do. I know it can do so much more. Exactly. One thing I liked about um I can't remember what it was. Let me think. Uh. Let's see. One thing I liked about um, Skyward Swords is that they made the reference with the Beetle guy yeah. with Wind Waker. I loved that because I loved that dude. He's like, thank you! Oh! <laughs> oh thank you! Oh! <laughs> I, I love that guy. He's so the cool. Beetle guy. Yeah. Yeah. The only problem with Skyward Swords is I don't like the game at all. <laughs> Like, yeah, I know you've said yeah, that it gets really dull and boring halfway does. through. It really does. Like, have you actually played it through all of it? No, sadly, I haven't gotten the time. I think I um, go on to explaining this in the last episode of Borderlands 2 because that Let's Play is done. I just have to upload it. Right. Um, in the last episode, I explained that I don't know if this has happened to anybody else but it's definitely happened to me sadly because it's one of those things that like bring a tears to my eye because it sucks that this is happening to me but like when you're a child you play games and you absolutely love them and you just want to keep on playing more and more and more yeah. but as you slowly progressively get older you slowly start to like like you play a game and then you slowly get bored of it unless it's really really good but since games are not as good as they used to be like there's still some very fantastic games but they're not as good as they used to be yeah. it like slowly removes their drive to play all the way through and then they just stop halfway through the game um i kind of got that towards legend of zelda just because i haven't gotten enough time to play it and i just I, I and it sucks because it's like the worst case for me because I'm probably just like, well, not Ego Raptor or John Tron because they either hate Legend of Zelda or Ocarina of Time or John Tron like the secret and stuff like that with it with Link to the Past and stuff like that. But I loved every single Legend of Zelda game. Like I was one of the, I was one of the few that truly loved every single Legend of Zelda game, whether there's faults in it or not, I absolutely loved every single one of them. 